Hi, my name is Scott Mitchell, and I'm a second year master's student in the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife at Oregon State University. I'm broadly interested in conservation, wildlife biology, and education, but today I'm here to talk to you about my thesis work with native bees in northeastern Oregon. So I came to wildlife science and ecology, as many people do, from a love of the outdoors. And my mom often recounts stories of me as a little kid taking three or four hours to walk from the end of our driveway back home because I'd stop and pick all the flowers and look at all the bugs and pick up all the little rocks that I could find on the way. My ability to perform the so-called nature crawl has followed me into adulthood and has really served me well in, in my research. I now look at the interactions between plants and their pollinators. For my thesis work, I am working with Dr. Sandra DeBano on questions relating to how land management decisions can affect native pollinator communities in northeastern Oregon. Specifically, I am interested in how grazing, both from native ungulates and cattle, can impact bee and flowering plant populations. I am also interested in exploring the connections between bees and woody shrubs and understanding how shrubs can be used to provide forage resources for bees. Before I talk more about my work, I'd like to introduce you to some of the critters that we research. I study a great group of insects called bees. Everyone knows what a bee is, right? But how much do you actually know? Now bees are a super cool organism to study because like other insects, they are an extremely diverse group with around 20,000 known species worldwide. In Oregon, native bees range in size from the familiar large bumblebee to the oft overlooked tiny perdita, whose name literally means lost. The diversity of life histories in this group of insects vary as much as the sizes of the insects themselves. Some bees nest in cavities in wood, some nest in the stems of plant, and most nest in the ground. Some bees are obligate specialists on one or a few plant species, while others will forage on nearly any plant they can find. Still others are nest parasites that prey on other bees. Unlike honeybees, most bees that are native to Oregon are solitary, and females work alone to create and provision nests for their eggs and their future offspring. In our site, we have over 200 identified bee species. These little creatures are critical for pollinating native plants and many of the cultivated plants that we humans like to eat. Since bees are so important to natural and agricultural systems, it is important to understand the factors that might affect bees and to understand ways that we can support these pollinators in the landscape. To answer our questions about grazing and native bees, we are working in two field sites in northeastern Oregon. We have a total of 28 sites and collect bees once per month at each site using pan traps, like these, which allow us to passively collect bees at a site. This provides us with snapshots of the bee community at each site throughout the season and allows us to identify the bees to species and understand how cattle and native ungulate grazing may be impacting bees. The other portion of my study focuses on the interactions between bees and native woody shrubs. For this portion of my study, we catch bees using hand nets like this. Catching bees that we observe foraging on flowering woody shrubs allows us to understand some of the interactions that bees and shrubs have and understand what shrubs could potentially be valuable in restoration or hedgerow planting. In the future, I hope that my work can help landowners, farmers, and land managers better understand how to promote bee conservation on their property. I hope that this will influence people to make good decisions for bees across the Pacific Northwest and promote bee conservation in our area.